The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a heavy bomber serving in the U.S. Air Force. It is a supersonic variable sweep wing design, and as of 2021 it is one of three active strategic bombers in the Air Force. In 1955, the Air Force issued requirements for a new strategic bomber. The intention was to combine the payload and range of the B-52 Stratofortress with the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler. The initial choice was the North American XB-70 Valkyrie, which was able to cruise at Mach 3 at high altitude. However the development of surface-to-air missiles led to a change of strategy. The Strategic Air Command shifted their focus to low-level penetration missions. This was done to allow bombers to utilize terrain masking from radar, and to make use of radar clutter which was common at the time. Surface-to-air missiles proved less effective against low-flying aircraft, and low-flying aircraft were also harder to detect from high-flying interceptors. The new focus on low-altitude flight made the B-70 Valkyrie less interesting. The low altitude limited it to subsonic speeds and severely decreased its range. This and the increased focus on intercontinental ballistic missiles led to the cancellation of the B-70 program in 1961. In October 1963, the Advanced Manned Precision Strike System program was launched, following the earlier subsonic low-altitude bomber study, and the extended strike aircraft study. In mid-1964, the program was renamed the Advanced Manned Strategic Aircraft, and the demand for a high-speed high-altitude capability was also added. The program was halted in 1968, but was re-established when Richard Nixon became president. In April 1969, the program officially became the B-1A, and design proposals were submitted by Boeing, General Dynamics and North American Rockwell in January 1970. In June, North American Rockwell was awarded the development contract. Two test airframes, five flyable aircraft and 40 engines were ordered. The order was later cut to one test airframe and three flyable aircraft, and a fourth prototype was added to the order later. In 1973, North American Rockwell changed its name to Rockwell International. The first B-1A flew for the first time December 23, 1974. By 1975, the unit cost of a B-1A was estimated to $40 million. The four B-1A prototypes were flight tested through April 1981, but the B-1A was cancelled by the Carter administration in 1977, and no production aircraft were built. However, in October 1981 President Reagan announced that 100 B-1s were to be ordered. Numerous changes were made to the design, which led to the design of the B-1B. The B-1B had a reduced maximum speed, but a higher low-level speed. The new Zaslon radar system was added, and the weight was increased to allow more fuel and weapons to be carried. The electronic warfare suite of the aircraft was also upgraded. The first B-1B flew for the first time in March 1983. By May 2, 1988, all 100 production B-1Bs had been delivered. The B-1 is often referred to as the bone. The variable sweep wing design provides good takeoff performance, and allows it to use shorter runways than previous bombers. The maximum speed of the B-1B is Mach 1.25, and the aircraft is powered by four General Electric F-101-102 engines. The B-1 has been upgraded numerous times since its production, and is now able to operate precision-guided conventional weapons. The weapon's load capacity has also been increased, and it will be capable of carrying hypersonic missiles. The B-1B has been in service since June 1985. Although originally designed for nuclear war, it is now used for conventional weapons. The B-1B Lancer was used on combat operations in Iraq in December 1998, and has since served in Kosovo and Afghanistan, as well as in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. The Lancer was also used to attack targets in Libya in 2011, and from 2014 in the campaign against ISIS in Syria. In 2021, the B-1 Lancer remains in service in the U.S. Air Force. <laughs>